Hi folks, welcome to another video with this really cute baby. One of the things parents always wonder about is burping. Dee Hoover, who many of you know, has a technique she'd like to share with you because it's been extremely effective. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna show you the burp technique. Mom was just asking it. Yeah. I had always thought too, you throw that thing on there and you throw your baby up on your shoulder. That's for years and years and years. They generally spit up. Um, I thought the same thing until my hair was down one time with Ryder and I didn't want him to spit up in it because he always would spit up when I would do this. So as soon as I pulled him off of me nursing, I held him up and said, hey, come and hold him so I can pull my hair back before I put him on my shoulder. As soon as I held him up, he burped. So what I'd learned from that, this is where I got this technique, is as soon as he's done, <laughs> give him a minute. Let him decide, hey, do you need to burp? So we're supporting him from the chest. And then what we do, if we don't get a burp, we lean him forward and we tap low. Yeah, so we're kind of working with, <laughs> we're working with, hi, <laughs> we're working with gravity. Tap just a few times. We don't want to force. And then we hold him up again. Hi, what you doing? Sometimes that holding up, if he's really fussing, that means there is some gas there. There is some pressure. But if he's not, just give him a minute. And then we hold him back down again. Lean him on something soft, lean him forward. Not holding the chin. We're, we're working with the esophagus and the trachea now. We're not pushing on the front. And then we tap in the middle. I was doing it all wrong. I was literally doing everything. It's not that you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and again, guys, there's so much information and there's so much stuff out there. Yeah. This is what worked for my babies. And this is baby. <laughs> like I had 20 of them. Actually, I have lots of babies. All the babies in my practice, when we deal with acid reflux and when we deal with issues, I teach this technique and it's just easier. Yeah. So if your baby can burp on your shoulder and you're getting good healthy burps, that's great. If not, we do this. Mm -hmm. And then the last time we hold him up again, you relax and supporting just under the chest give him a second and then last one and hold him up he's got some good control in his head he's strong so we just want to make sure he doesn't fall back so we gently lean him forward and we tap high he's still got that right side pull so that's a little harder so we just tap high there we go. So sometimes it's spit up, sometimes it's burp because he gets a lot in there because mom has overflow. But spit up is the same thing as a burp when it comes out like that. When there's this projectile thing and everything comes up, but that means that it was stuck up high. The issue then is if you have him on your shoulder and you're doing that, that creates a gas going down. Yeah. So if you hold him up and that comes out, that was that excess that he didn't need. Mm -hmm. he, he ate a lot, so it's not like it all came out. Mm -hmm. So that's the burp technique. Mm -hmm. And then if he starts fussing again at some point, like after, and because he didn't burp, then you do that technique again. Mm -hmm. You guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. And if you think this video might help somebody you know who has a newborn or is about to have a newborn, share it with them.